user guide video in how to get the Auto Chartist web app, the MT4 plugin. Um, so I got so far as to show you how to access it on the website. So you create an account at IC Markets and then um, you log in and then you go to the Auto Chartist web app. Uh, so you click that and it should take you here. And what you want to do, if you want to get the plugin for MetaTrader 4, you uh, trading community, and what it is, um, it's, it's quite well um, buried, the download link. So you need to go to download in the search. Where can I download? And um, there, see here that where it says here, you can download the plugin by following the instructions here. It wasn't that clear for me when I looked at it last. So just make sure you click that and you've got like a uh, different icon. So click that. Download plugin. This is going to be the first time I've installed it on this computer. Uh, so obviously it zips by if you've got a fast internet. Uh, we'll just left click. And um, it should detect the IC Markets terminal. You have to select United States. I tried to go to UK, but they didn't have an option. Not that it matters. Um, yeah, click next. Yeah, I accept. Click next. Uh, yeah, it has detected it, so that's good. Next. You note that it's actually open. My terminal is actually there, and it's uh, running now. Uh, please note it will shut down the terminal. That's fine. And click install. You notice it shut it down, which is okay. This could take a few minutes. It's <laughs> there we go. Uh, yes, configuring, validating, copying files, click finish, and um, that's it. So it's reopened it, so that's cool. Um, I've got lots of FX SSI indicators because this is my machine that I make my uh, daily bulletin on. So yours would load up quicker because I've got multiple um, currency pairs. Okay, so uh, view. And we want to go to Navigator. And then there should be a, um, there's the indicator, but we don't want that. We want the Expert Advisor. So we just come in here, Auto Chartist, right click, Attach to Chart. Uh, common, Allow. Allow. That's fine. You can click that. It's not going to open or any signals or anything like that. And what we want to do is want to ensure that this is a happy face. So uh, auto trading, happy face. I'm now going to um, pause the video, and so because I'm going to put in my credentials. Um, so obviously, you know, for privacy reasons, I don't want to show that. And then I'm going to resume the video as soon as I put in my uh, credentials. So once you put in your email address, you'll have like a quite a cool little uh, screen down here, like a menu. And um, all you need to do is simply click on the currency pair that you're interested in. So I don't know, perhaps um, we can look at the dollar yen. So it opens up the dollar yen chart and on the time frame that we're interested in, and it's saying that we've got some resistance up here. So this could be your potential target, which should be quite healthy, quite a nice uh, area there. And um, so, yeah, what it will do, it will give you like a volatility analysis as well. Uh, what does it say? It says resistance. So it's saying that it's your support. 
So that would probably be your stop loss and that could be your TP. Uh, pattern details can be expanded and uh, it's a breakout. It says it's, it's saying that there's uh, a break off that line, which is, I suppose it makes sense. There's that high, and there's that high. So, um, you know, it's a uh, bullish pattern because it's green and we're going to hit resistance up here. So I'm not really sure why my horizontal line was black. It's a bit annoying. It's a black background, so it's a bit silly. Yeah, so 107.76. So, um, yeah, that's 120 pips. Yeah, 120 pips away. So that's an idea that you could do potentially. Um, let's have a look at the Euro USD. Just saying it's a big movement, but it's saying uh, the volatility on the daily, we can come down to 120.22. Um, let's have a look. Maybe some wedge. Wedges are quite good. So that's um, going to be quite bearish. See how we have this support? And we're teetering. Well, actually, we're below it. We close below. Don't forget to remember uh, to use this in conjunction with the bubbles. It's really important because this is why I'm making this video is that you guys can have some kind of technical analysis um, some, to give you some ideas when you look at the bubbles first thing in the morning. You think, oh, that looks like quite a good sell. And maybe the Aussie and the dollar bubbles are going to deviate over time and therefore make a stronger sell. And then you simply open your MetaTrader 4 and you see if there's any Aussie dollar things, um, any, um, you know, um, technical analysis for that. And so we do have one on the daily. It's a rising wedge. So, um, so that could be your stop. Okay, so it's 40-ish pips, so it's, you know, it's not ideal, it's quite a large stop because it's the daily time frame, but then that would be your target. You'd probably want to target down here, in all honesty. So that's how we can get a good R, R multiple. There's a uh, 39 pip to a 250 pip reward. So that's your risk, this is your reward. So you see how can you, you can use it. Um, let's have a look. Might be some more stuff. Uh, Bitcoin. I, yeah, it doesn't really tell you that much. These big movements, just you know, like a heads up. Uh, saying there's some support on the H4. Bitcoin. It allows me to load it. Okay, so we're saying that we could come down to uh, 4,000 and then it'll be a buy. Just to give you some ideas, really. Um, and then don't forget you can expand this as well. Um, Kiwi dollar. So it loads quite quick. Um, it will help if you've got quite a fast PC. Uh, so that's the saying that there's support down here. And, um, you know, you could use it in conjunction, like I say, but for the bubbles, but if you use some oscillators, you know, like MACD or Stochastics or something like that, or whatever you're used to, if you're used to like the volume profile, use it in conjunction, have this like side by side, and then it could work quite well. Um, so I guess I'll just wrap up really. It's just a quick demonstration how to install it and why you'd want to use it. So there's lots of big movements. Dollar Swiss has got some resistance. Um, there we go. So we should, we could, not should, but we could come up here at uh, 9113. And don't forget, it gives you a volatility measurement as well. So your daily here, your daily, oh, it's up here, 9130. So it gives you like probability areas. And especially if we use moving averages and things like that. Let's go to uh, trend. Yeah, I mean, we've got the uh, MA, which is ascending. So, you know, assuming that carries on, we can come up here. So we don't really want to fight the MA. When the MA is pointing up, you know, that's like the um, bullish bias or bearish bias if it's pointing down. So, yeah, I guess I'll just wrap up now. Um, just go through this and uh, hopefully it helps. So um, there's the affiliate link for IC Markets at the bottom of this video. Feel free to click it and then um, you can deposit your monies. And if you do, then, you know, that would be good because uh, I'd get a little commission. 
from your trades so uh, if you found this video helpful don't forget you can like and subscribe and I'd really appreciate it I'm trying to grow my YouTube um, community I've got 500 subscribers I'd ideally want that doubled and, um, and then we can keep growing as a service so yeah I'll wrap up now and uh, hopefully it helps there's your pound yen there <laughs> which is not yeah so it's saying it's we could come up which could be quite painful because I know a lot of people are, are caught on this so uh, yeah have a look have a look at this and uh, let me know what you think and I hope you have a good um, Sunday night and I'll speak to you tomorrow